Well, it's Christmas time, and I'm going to be talking about the first remake of Black Christmas from 2006, which is turning 15 today. But is it really that bad? Well, yes and no. Well, sort of more yes than no, but you be the judge. Let's talk about this right now in this review. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, this is Big D's Entertainment Ratings and Reviews. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name's Dual, better known to as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a review of the 2006 slasher flick, Black Christmas, originally released by Dimension Films along with MGM. Directed by Glenn Morgan, who had recently done the Willard remake, three years before this. Though it features a pretty big cast that has been in some movies like Katie Cassidy, Michelle Trettenberg, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who had recently ap appeared in Final Destination 3 earlier that year, Oliver Hudson, Lacey Chabert, Kristen Cloak, and Andrea Martin, who of course starred in the original film. Now, the film takes place several days before Christmas and tells the story of a group of sorority sisters who are stalked and murdered in their house during a winter storm. Now, it's a loose remake of the 74 film of the same name. Co-production, a co-production of both Canada and the U.S. And it was produced by Morgan and James Wong through their company, Hard Eight Pictures, along with 2929 Productions. So, anyway, I'm going to try not to give the whole film away. Anyway, we focus on, we start out with Billy Lynn's, a boy born with a, with severe jaundice, jaundice, or how the heck you pronounce that. Or also known as isteris, a yellowish or greenish pigmentation of the skin and the whites of eyes and stuff like that, which, that's creepy. Constantly abused by his mother, with the help of her lover, she murders Billy's father on Christmas Eve in 75 and buries his body in the house's crawl space. But once he witnessed her scheme, she imprisons him in the attic. Well, Billy's mother impregnates herself from her own son in the attic due to her boyfriend's impotence to conceive another child. And soon there was a daughter named Agnes, and used the occasion of her birth to further reject Billy. And boy, Billy escapes the act on Christmas Day in 91, this figures 8-year-old Agnes by gouging out her eye, and brutally murders his mother and her lover. Yes. And he's caught by the police eating cookies made out of his mother's flesh, which is sick, and sent to a mental asylum while Agnes is taken to the local orphanage. Fifteen years later, Billy, now 36, escapes from his cell and heads to his former home, now a sorority house at Delta Alpha Kappa at Clement University. Well, now some of the kills in the film are kind of a little loose on them, some of the things, like our first kill from one of them, Claire Crosby, is murdered by an unknown figure. Well, she gets him. Well, the killer gets her, um, her at, well, puts a plastic bag over her hand, not like um, what we saw in the original in ways, and then gets stabbed and what have you. But I gotta tell you, it's, it really gets Freaking what have you. Let me see. I'm trying to find some more. Boy, I gotta tell you. And then it really goes on a killing spree. Yeah. But. This one just really is shocking. But I'm not going to give more of the story and what have you. I think you may just want to say that I'm not going to because I'm not sure if you're interested in this. So I'm just going to 
say just to be on the safe side, maybe give it a one time watch, or if you aren't you weren't too thrilled with this being announced, then don't bother with it. Heck, I think I would rather rewatch this over the dull 2019 film, which no, I have not seen. I don't think I wanna see it. Now actually now some good there was some good thing that I liked about it was the film score done by the late Charlie Walker who died just a month before the film was released. Now, of course, Walker had recently worked on this, on other um, film scores, such as for films like the first three Final Destination films and the Willard remake. She also did... Um, well, she also worked on several other things. No. Well, or co-composed with several others on other films. She also did the music for Batman the Animated Series as well. Well, most of it anyway. Yeah. And, of course, she also did the music for Superman the Animated Series and, well, for select episodes, the main title theme and thematic elements, as well as theme in multiple episodes, possibly all of the first season of um, the anime at Spawn. So anyway, yeah. Now, the cast on the other hand was reasonable. We have Katie Cassidy as Kelly, Kelly Presley, Michelle Trachtenberg as Melissa Kitt, Mary Elizabeth Winstead plays Heather Fitzgerald, Lacey Chabert plays Dan Mathis. Kristen Cloak plays Lee Colvin. And Andrea Murray is Barbara McHenry or Ms. Mac. Anyway, let's see. Robert Mann plays Billy. Uh, and Dean Friss is Agnes. Yeah, I gotta tell you, it's really freaky. But, however, now some of the kills are pretty, was a little bit of gruesome and what have you. But, a lot of people were not impressed with it. It got this big time, and Ryan Tomato says it pumps out the blood and gore with zero creativity, humor, and vi or, or visual flair. And, well, that's factually understandable. You're right, they're right, it's... But even so, again, I'd rather rewatch over the the remake. But however, the film also tanked at the box office, failing to only bring in twenty one million. The film has had been carried characterized by film scholars and critics as an example of a contemporary slasher film. But anyway, uh, I think the film's, well, okay, but it's not, um, okay, guy. I think it's factually a little okay, okay, but not 110% okay, okay. Sorry, it's just hard to explain about this film. Now, I've only seen this film twice in my life, and after watching it the second time, I'm still going to say it's okay, okay, but, eh, I'd rather stick with, I'd rather not, I probably won't ever watch this again, I'd rather stick with the original film, which reminds me, Bob Clark was involved in this before his death about, um, a few months later in April of the following year. Of course, um, let's see... Yeah. Which I thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, yeah. That's all I can say. Story's alright. The cast is re is reasonably okay. and But some of the kills were, weren't too bad. But some of them could have been a little better. But it was kind of freaky and creepy in some parts. So in the end, I'd say... You be the judge on Black Christmas. I'd say I'd rather give it a draw between give it a one-time watch 
or avoid this one and stick with the original one, all right? That's all I'm telling you. Either give it a one-time watch or avoid it. This is because it's a draw for me. I much rather say either. Or because, again, it's a draw. Oh, dear, I'm sorry. I'm getting carried away. I don't mean to sound like a broken record. But that's that's about it. That's all I'm telling you. So if you have seen Black Christmas from 2006, let me know what you think about in the comment section below. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all probably weren't too thrilled with this and what have you. I understand. But anyway, let me know what you think about in the comment section. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and be a part of the Big D Nation. And stay tuned, I'll have more videos coming up, but I don't know what they'll be, and I still will plan to give you a spoiler-free review of the Matrix Resurrections and what have you. Now, of course, I'll also start working on my rankings for movies I've seen this month, but I'll be doing Christmas flicks separately, well, from the rewatches, okay? You'll still get an actual rewatches list. But I'll keep the Christmas flicks separated. Okay? Thank you. Alright. Anyway, thank you for watching. And if you like this, you may want to consider checking out my reviews for these other Christmas slashers that I've already talked about. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of the original Black Christmas. The upper right-hand corner is my review of Silent Night, Deadly Night. Or, or go to the bottom left-hand corner and see my review of the 2012 Loose remake of Silent Night. In the bottom right-hand corner is a button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.